hello and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to the 100 baby challenge i'm picking up right where we left off it is slightly later in the morning so we left off with mckenna going to sleep after having alan and archero and also getting pregnant again by arthur this time so she is currently pregnant and we currently have two little babies in our room who are currently screaming their heads off as soon as we click play it's going to be an absolute symphony of screaming babies so let's just get right into it and here is the symphony mckenna is laughing through the pain she's starving she needs a whiz but girl we've got to take care of these screaming children so let's just give them a feed and see if that is what they need ah uh, yep they were just lonely they wanted a bit of loving there we go Happy holidays, McKenna. Can I come see you? This is Keaton. He was our doctor at the hospital last time. So, yes, you can come with us. We want him to be the next baby daddy. And he's a vampire as well. That's right. So, so his babies will count for two babies instead of just one. Oh, my God. We let our plants die. I completely forgot about our plant. I guess we're not a gardener. Oh, my God. Who is crying? Ellen has shit himself. Right. Come change his nappy. Arthur, what do you want? No, we're pregnant with your babies. We don't need to go on a date with you. Keaton's helping. Change this one and this one. Right. And now, let's see if he will accept our flirt. Okay, he didn't like it. Wow. Express like a virgin ideas. Like, you're just boring. Give us a baby or... It's off. Discuss having a baby. Let's see what he says. You want a baby with me? I say we consider it. I'm kind of torn, but I would never pass up on a chance to woohoo with you. Well, you rejected my flirt, so clearly you did. Should we try ahead of the moment, kiss? This is kind of her go-to. She just smacks it on them. Oh. Are you trying to kiss me? I'm not that into you. Dude. All right, well, we'll bug him up a little bit. She a rebate day spirit. Yeah, why not? Of course it's rebate day after I just renovated the house. So what we're doing right now is we're just lining him up, getting him ready to be the next baby daddy, because we've... Have first babies here, Alan and Archer, uh, Travis's babies, and then we're pregnant currently with Arthur's babies. So, once we give birth to these ones, we need another sperm donor to give us their children. Scribe first kiss. Maybe not. Share a secret. Where'd you go? Can you stop flying around? This guy! The men in this town are so hard to get. I wonder if he's married. He is. Ah. Arthur. Arthur is saying to us, Mahina, I couldn't get you off my mind. Can we spend some time together right now? No, I'm busy. I'm moving on. I've moved on. Your old news. Oh my god, Arthur. Are you missing me too? No. No, we're really not. Right, we've got a flirt coming up. Flirt has his joke. What's he doing? Right, let's try... Hmm, that's just a flip. So apparently he finds us unattractive as well. Awesome, awesome, awesome. You have the sweetest heart, tell him. No, okay, you're gonna go. Are you gonna do it properly? No, I think he wants food. Read both of them. And then we need to write a book about Arthur. Let's write a playful book about Arthur. Never mind. We have a screaming child. What do you want? Do you want a cuddle? Arthur, piss off. Right. Okay. Now, let's write a playful book about Arthur. Okay, what do we want to name our book? Alright, I've got a good one. We're going to name this book Attached Arthur. What spell? Attached Arthur, baby daddy number two, Arthur. Arthur, you are annoying. There we go. That's our book about Arthur. It was his name, wasn't it? Yep. Okay. Right, book number two is going strong to get her to throw away all these because we really goofed oh, i really goofed with all these plants i think we've sold a couple a lot no nope, they all died okay never mind oh yes she likes writing of course you do okay so mckenna was just picking up all her plants that died and we have screaming children so alan shut himself and Arturo, i don't know what you want but we'll feed both of them and give them a cuddle anyway and then she can eat. Parenting level three. It's gonna go up pretty quick. All right, who's at the door? Glad. Mm, 
No. No. You're you're okay. You just you just leave. It's fine. Okay. McKenna has finished her book, so I'll get her out here to publish Attached Arthur. Um, I also believe she went into a second trimester. She did, so third trimester in 21 hours. So we're getting along. Cool, so she's published that. And we've got screaming children. What do you want? Do you want food? Let's try to feed them. Yeah, he was hungry. Right, and then we'll head to bed. Never mind, we've got another one. Archero is the fussiest child. Just got the notification that it's almost Alan and Archero's birthday. Just as Archero pipes up, you know, as per usual. It's a bit of the ritual. Right, go back to bed, honey. Okay, here goes Archero again. Let's feed them both. Right, try to get your last little bit of shut and then we'll have something to eat. Oh my god, this baby, she just got in bed and he's already going. Our son is messaging us saying that Keaton and I are good friends now. This son, Alan, right here. Okay, I didn't know babies could use phone. All right, let's get her to come do a realism painting. All right, so McKenna has finished this painting. So we're gonna get her to come over here and stock up the table. Actually, you need a whiz. Go take a piss first, go piss girl, and then stock the table. All right, tender, and then let's start a yard sale. All right, anyone wanna come buy some paintings? Oh, go away, other Right, $460 for our beautiful painting up there. Oh, God, Travis is here. Gonna buy a painting, Travis? Make yourself useful. Oh, 1200 Oh, good job, mate. Good job. Right, three more paintings. I've sent you some money. I'll take it. $86? I'll take that. Thank you very much, Felix. Right, anyone want to buy some paintings? You want to buy a painting? Liberty? Oh, yeah, $1,500 for that one up there. Stunning. All right, anyone else? You, Mr. Pizza Guy? Lilith? No. What about this child? Oh, I think Marcus wants one. Oh, $1,300 for that one. Perfect. One more to go. Yeah, 2.2k jeepers. Well done. Good haul today. Right, we've got an upset baby. Let's come in, give him a cuddle and see if that fixes him. There we go. All right, come grab something to eat. Right, let's get the calendar. So when are these babies' birthdays? Yes, so the babies' birthdays are indeed tomorrow. Okay, so I just had McKenna quickly have something to eat and take care of the bubbas, but she is absolutely exhausted. So I'm gonna get her to take a shit, have a shower, and then straight to bed because she is exhausted. And she's been woken up straight away by Mr. Archero screaming, and we are in our third trimester. So, and we've reached parenting level four. Well, good job. Right, get back to bed. Right, so we could have these babies at any moment now. Right, now it's Alan. Are they hungry, maybe? Feed both of them anyway. There we go. He was hungry. So, yep, Archer is now hungry. There he goes. About to say. Right, back to bed. Right, we'll be woken up again. Give him a cuddle, give this one a cuddle as well. Okay, so McKenna has just woken up to pee and also to the screaming Alan, but we just got notification that it's Archero's and Alan's birthday. So once she takes care of his nappy, I will get her to age them up because we can age them up as soon as we get that notification that it's their birthday. So, right, Alan was born first, so you're first, buddy. All right, let's see you. Here goes Alan, happy birthday. All right, so it looks like he is a blondie, which makes sense because both McKenna and Travis are blondies. So since I have the more cash traits, we also get more traits for toddlers. So to toddlers get two, children get three, teens four, and adults five. So we're going to randomize and see what traits he gets, which is scary because we get double the bad traits, but let's see. Oh, so we got wild and silly. That's not too bad. We can deal with that. Right, next up, Archero. You were the second born bubba. He looks so cute. Let's age up. Archero, happy birthday. Right, let's see what he's going to be. Oh, so he's fussy and a charmer, but he looks absolutely adorable. All right, so both the boys are blonde, which makes sense. Alan has already taken himself into his bedroom 
to play with this little toy stack. I'm going to jump into Cass and give them a makeover and I will show you their befores and their afters. Alright, so we're going to start with Alan's makeover since he was our first born baby. So this is what the game has aged him up with. He's been aged up with a bunch of random CC and makeup. So this is him without any of that. So I will go ahead and give him his makeover. Okay, so this is Alan all made over. He is absolutely adorable. He aged up with green eyes, which is the same as McKenna. So I've given him some green eyes. Um, don't mind the toddler's flow. I'd have a mod that makes them stand different in case. But this is his first outfit. He is a little wild child, so I thought I'd give him a bit of a crazy colour green and like busy outfit. Um, I don't do all of his outfits because we will only see some of them. So I've given him his everyday, his sleepwear, his hot weather and his cold weather. I hope you like him. He is absolutely adorable and I love him. So now we're going to move on to his twin brother. Mr. Arturo. So let's take off all of this. So they do look very similar. So I'll give them some similar details. They have the same colored eyes and same hair. So I'll be back with Arturo's makeup. So this is little Arturo. He is very similar to his twin brother, Alan. He is our fussy charmer boy. So I've given him a really cute little hair. And this is his everyday outfit, his sleepy wear. Which is the same as his brother's, just a different colour. His hot weather, which these shorts are absolutely adorable. And his cold weather outfit. So I really hope you like the boys. They're so adorable. And I love them. Alright, so we are back with our little babies. It is currently 5.30 in the morning. Miss McKenna, you can come and grab something to eat and then head back to sleep. Little Alan is playing with that. And how about Archer? how about you come and babble to the teddy bear? We gotta get these skills going. So we have to get all of their toddler skills to level three for them to be aged up. So we need to start working on that. As for Miss McKenna, she is in her third trimester giving birth or whenever. So guess we have another baby or babies on the way very soon. Come and do your painting. Mr. Allen is getting his thinking up and Mr. Archero is doing his movement skill. He's having a wee boogie. <laughs> oh, toddlers in this game are so adorable. Alright, why don't you play in there a little bit more. And you are already thinking too, so I think if you come and play this... Once you're done in there, and McKenna is doing her paintings. Oh, that's a better figure painting. It's not just a stick figure. Good job. Right, so you're going to play with that. You're still playing in the tent. He has now reached movement level two, which is great. We need that. Okay, Alan has already reached level three of thinking. So, good job, buddy. McKenna likes painting. Yes, of course she does. All right, let's come out here and let's come work on some imagination. So why don't you come and play inside the tent. And Archero is still playing in his little play tunnel. It's almost moving three, which is insane. The skill's going up really quickly. I think the hardest one for us will be potty. So maybe we'll get you to stop doing that and get you to get help from mum. So get your potty to level two so you can go by yourself. It is love day today. So maybe we can invite over Keaton and get our romance up with him. She wants to read a toddler book. We don't have a bookshelf because you ruined that. Potty train. Archer is going to potty train him. Come on, little stinky butt. Right, speaking of potty, McKenna also needs to go to the toilet. And it looks like Alan has reached level two of imagination. This thing here is such a hack. It makes your toddler's skills, imagination skill, build so, so, so quickly. It's actually insane. Alan has reached imagination level t three, sorry. All right, he needs a bit of attention. He also needs to pee and he is getting a bit hungry. So when you come talk to the bear for some attention while well, mum goes to pee and then she can potty train, right? You, why don't you come play with some rocker stack, mum? You can come and potty train Alan. Sit your butt down. Got our mail. Archero sure has just reached movement level three by playing with the little basketball out here. Good job, buddy. Right, I've got Alan on the potty still, trying to get his skill up to level two, but he is getting a little bit hungry. 
So I might get McKenna to come and serve some... Let's just serve some salad, since you seem to be good at that. No, Arthur, go away. All right. Oh my god. Jeez, some glitches. I'm like, okay, so everyone is eating, and then I'm going to send... Who told you to go to the toilet? No, Archer. Archer? Arthur, go away. And I'm going to send her to bed. So I really hope she doesn't wet herself, because... She doesn't listen to me, so it's on her if she does wet herself. Yep, she's gonna piss herself. Alright, well, that's on you. I told you to shower. I mean, I told you to pee, so. Alright, get in the shower. And then go to sleep. What do you need, buddy? You're a bit tired. Why don't you come to sleep as well? And you're very tired, so why don't you come to sleep too? Big time for everyone. Okay, McKenna has gone into labor. Why don't you come and use the toilet and then we'll go have our baby. So these are the babies of Arthur. So that will be interesting. Okay, we have arrived at the hospital and here's our doctor. Can we romance him? Compliment his appearance. It is love day. Oh, we're on hugging terms. Hi, I'm here to have another baby. Do you want to be next? Closet? These men, they just don't like her, do they? It looks like it is go time. We are heading to our trusty old machine to get our baby delivered. It looks like Kate and left, so we've got Jenny Smith as our doctor today, which is fine. We'll invite Kate and around another time to get his seed for our collection, I guess. Alright, what are we going to have this time? And it's another boy. Okay. Right, so... We had our first lot of babies, Alan and Arturo, so these babies will have names starting with a B. So for a boy, I think we're going to go with Benjamin. It's the first one that came to my mind, so Benjamin Jameson. And we had a girl, okay. Yay, our first girl. Right, so she's going to have a B name as well. Let's name her Bridie. There we go. It was just twins as well. Awesome. So her and Arthur had twins. I can I require a C-section for the safe delivery for baby? Plenty of resources needed for recovery. Interesting. So she had to have a C-section there. Alright, let's go home. We are home and here are our babies. So let's come and feed Benjamin and come and feed Bridie. Right, how are our boys? You're pretty good. You could probably go back to sleep and you could also probably go back to sleep. So McKenna is feeding the newly born Bubba's that she can come use the toilet, clean it, clean that, and then go to sleep. So Mr. Arturo is up and he is a whole angry, hungry mess. So why don't you come and grab some salad? There we go. Put that bin. And you do need to pee, so I'll get mum to get up and grab some food as well, and then she can potty train you. Alright, you can come and potty train Arturo. We have screaming babies, but Arturo was up first, so he's first. He needs to piss. I think he's already shit in his nappy, but he's going anyway. Yep, he has. On you go. Right, and now Mr. Allen has woken up, and he is also very hungry. So why don't you come grab some salad? How are you going, Archer? You're nearly level two. Looks like you're nearly there. Just a little bit more and you would have done it. Right, you needed a bath. Oh my gosh. Why do they always do that when they get off the toilet? Come in and talk to the bear. Right, Mum's dealing with babies and then she can come in and potty train Mr. Allen. Who also needs to pee. Right, Archer is level two of communication. Right, and then you can come in and potty train Mr. Allen. Why are you naked? Wild child. Travis, no. We don't want to be your girlfriend. Right, once she's potty trained Alan, we are getting her pregnant. Alan has reached potty level two. Good job. Right. Got another stinky baby. Right, our next victim is Keaton. Keaton is here, so let's talk to him and try and butter him up a wee bit. McKenna's decided she wants to hang out in her hospital gown, which is fine. Travis, can you go home? Well, I suppose maybe you could give your kid a bath. Can we do that? Bath. Travis, here you go. Ask Dad for a bath. These guys are so hard to get along with. Ask a cloud guest. No. He's proposing marriage. We're not even together. Literally, go away. Did you give your kid a bath? You did. Good. Right. What are you doing? 
You need communication, so come talk to the bear. And why don't you come and play in the tent? Travis, go away. Oh my god. We're good friends with him now. We're gonna do this until we're best friends. Oh my god, we have screaming children. Alright, come feed and cuddle. Right, we'll come back to you, King. We'll be back. But Churro is now. Ay, 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 ay. Don't you dare make a mess. <sighs> right. Parenting. Discipline. Calmly. Ask not to make a mess. Please don't do that. Thank you. Right, give this one a cuddle. Oh. Oh. Is, is he dying? Oh my god. What? Travis, I know you said you were annoying, but... <sighs> Makita, get your ass out of here. He's fucking... Played. Played for him. Played. 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 Why can't... Played. She can't play. He just died of... Embarrassment or something? Oh my god. And with a screaming baby. Why can't she plead? And she has a headache. Oh my god. What is happening? Oh my god. We have to shut these babies up. I'm sorry, Travis. The babies are just too... Oh. Calling to let you know that you're closer in... I know he died! He just died in my fucking kitchen! Oh my god. And I've got to put the birth certificate up. Oh my gosh. Well, he can go in the backyard. Well, that's not what we expected. Now the baby's gonna be sad that their dad's died. You need a bath. Why don't you ask mum for some bubbles? Mum is peeing right now. Oh my god, and we've got about Keaton. Oh my god, this is... This is chaos. Right, I'm going to get her pregnant before I end this episode. We're going to give Ellen a bath, and then we are getting her pregnant. So, after you're done with that, you're going to bed, mate. Right. Are you clean yet? Not yet? Okay, right, clean. McKenna, Keaton, get him over here. Who are you? Hello? Did he just ding dong ditch me? Oh my... What is the save? At least Caitlyn's coming over. Right, we're gonna take a photo with him because... It, it's just too hard. If it doesn't work, then we're moving on to the next, the next boy. And we have a screaming child. She likes photography. Oh my god, I forgot about it. That is terrifying. Alright, well... That is a terrifying picture. Okay, we need to shut this baby up. Good idea, McKenna. I've kind of forgot about it. It's just background noise at this point. Right, seduce him. This guy! Cry about peeing yourself. Yep, do that. And then grieve with him. You will get through this. Right, okay. So he it's no longer an awkward conversation. Discuss your future together. Oh, now she's sad. Off. Oh, I'm floating compliment to died. I offered a compliment and... Okay, it's gone. Oh, now she's sad, so she's probably not... Oh, I don't see it. <gasps> this guy is so difficult to get along with. All right, now she's just too sad. Do a smooth apology. How long are we going to be sad for? Four hours and then two days. And we have a screen. We need to get pregnant. Oh, and now he's yelling at us. I thought they fixed this in the patch. Okay. Right. What rewards can we get? Can we get anything that's going to help us? I'm going to get her the beguiling trait so that we can put anyone in a flirty mood with just one look. So we're going to do that and see if that helps us out. So we'll deal with that baby and then we're going to... I think it might be too sad. Can we still beguile him or do we have to be... No, we're too sad. Right. Call the sadness hotline. We didn't care that much about Travis. Call it. 
You gotta call it a million times. We're just gonna spam. We're spamming this Santa's hotline. She didn't care about Travis that much. She's she's just being dramatic. Okay, okay. She's in a she's in an inspired mood. Right, Kaden, Kaden, you're not no, you're not leaving. Get over here. Come and beguile her. Oh my god. Invite him back over. He's a vampire. He should come over. He's sleeping. He's a vampire. Oh my god. Right, gotta be. We're inviting him over in the morning. Never mind, you can't. The baby's crying. Feed them. They're probably hungry because we're feeding the good thing them. To be fair, a lot happened. We had a death. And we have horrible men. Okay, and we've just got a notification. It's almost Benjamin and Bridie's birthday. Benjamin is screaming. Give him a cuddle. He's probably lonely. Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go, Baba. Go back to sleep. All right. Now, now Bridie is probably lonely. And... Oh, he shot himself. Right, give him a nappy change. Don't want you to sit in your own papoos. Right, back to bed. Okay, Mrs. Bridie has shit her pants. Had enough sleep. Come use the toilet. Take a shower. And I might get you to serve up some... Let's do some pancakes. Just, you know, for the boys who when they wake up. Right, Mr. is awake. Okay, he's not going to be able to wait, so... Let's pull out Old Faithful, grab a serving of salad, baby. We've run out of salad, so it's a good thing she is cooking. Both boys are eating, both babies are happy. And we have a broken sink, so we'll have to fix that. Right, McKenna is cooking. She's having fun while doing so, because she likes to cook. Right, today, miss, we are getting pregnant. Oh, baby, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that daddy died. All right, well, your skills are looking really good, so why don't you come and talk to the bear a couple of times? Why don't you come, why don't you come and play in the little tent, keep your mind off of it. Okay, so Keaton is here, um, McKenna is happy, so let's come and beguile him. Alright, so now he should be in a flirty mood. Happy mood. Very flirty, good job. Right, come to a smooth apology. And then, why don't we give him a hug, see if he'll accept that. This guy really doesn't like us. Maybe we're going to have to move on and try someone else. Right, I've had enough of you. Go away. Right, we're going to invite over Isaac. Get over here, buddy. Here he comes, running over. Right, come and beguile him. Can we beguile him? No? Okay, come in. I think about cooking with him. What are you doing, baby? Oh, don't mourn your dada. No, don't do that. It's okay. Why don't you come over here and ha come have a talk with the bear? Alright, he hated it as well. We're going the old faithful way. We need to get pregnant. Take a photo with him. Right now. Everyone hates us. Is there something wrong with my girl? She's gorgeous. Stop being annoying. You. Stop it. Talk to the bear. You go potty. We've got a screaming child with a nappy that needs changing. Felix, no, not Felix. Isaac, can you get out of the way? Thank you. Stop going to try and warn your dad. You are fine. Come and play some xylophone. You too. Stop going to warn your dad. Come and talk to the bear. I'm going to put him in uh, inventory, I think. So I'm just going to keep trying to go to him otherwise. There we go. Sorry, mate. I tried to give you a nice spot, but... Okay, we've got a screaming baby. This is a lot harder than I thought it would be. Come feed her. Come feed Brady. Don't want to be hungry. I love all the farts on this earth. Isaac wants. Okay, we can become best friends. Like adults is. Yeah, go away, Keaton. We don't like you. And bloody Keaton's here. Right, we're trying to get with Keaton. Go home. Change his nappy. Oh, your three's on everything except potty. Okay, you just need mum to potty train you. Mum's a little bit busy right now, but you need to come and talk to the bear. And then you also just need potty. So come talk to the bear and get your communication done. Good job. Can you go potty? You can, good boy. What, Arthur? Okay, you gotta give him a bath. That's okay. Give him a bath then. Give Archer a bath. You're already in here, you may as well. Right, I'm just gonna replace this because the sound's annoying me. Right, she's gonna pee and he's leaving. Right, no, come back. Get back over here. We need a child. Can I come celebrate? Yep, come over. Right, can we do it now? Compliment looks. Can my fortune read it? I got my fortune read and it said that if I want good luck, I should send you money. 
Thanks, bro. Aww. I'll always take some money. Why don't you come in and give him a flirty? Oh, we didn't mind that. <gasps> Are we getting somewhere? <gasps> He's finally liking our flirts. Discuss the future together. But like, we could have some beautiful babies. Like, if you just give me your seed. You're the only one I love. Like, I only want you. There's no one else. It's just you and me. This is working. <gasps> right, now we just need to get some romance. Oh, now he finds us attractive. Okay, that's new. Oh, we finally have romance. Oh my god, both the babies are screaming. She's exhausted. We haven't been pregnant in way too long. Right, kiss him. First kiss. Good job. Can we... Woohoo? Woohoo. Woohoo. With the screaming babies, that's your, that's your woohoo music. Right, off you go. Oh my god, she's passing out. Sorry for speeding through, but we just need this done. She is aging by the moment. Right. P pregnant. Oh my god, hungry babies. Oh my gosh. Sorry, babies. Hang on. Let me get your food. Come grab some pancakes. Come grab some pancakes. Right, babies, you're gonna have to wait. For mom to take a pregnancy test. And then she'll come in, she will change your, your stinky bums. Oh, we're pregnant, thank god. Right, change the stinky bums. Right, how are my little bubbers doing? They're both eating some pancakes together. Right, you need potty trained by mum, so you can just go to bed because mum is too tired to do that for you right now. And you just need potty, so get on the potty, get on there and stay there. And it is the baby's birthday. So right, I'm going to wait a minute to age them up because I cannot do four toddlers. So we'll get his skill up, we'll send him to bed, and then we'll get McKenna to potty train Mr. Archero. Alan has reached potty level three. Right, so he should have threes in everything he does. So go to sleep, baby, and we will age you up tomorrow. McKenna is slept enough so she can go ahead and potty train Mr. Archero. Alan, why are you up, baby? Go back to sleep. He's potty too, but I'm going to get her to keep potty training him because it goes up a bit quicker. All right, so Arturo is currently still working on his potty. He is 85% complete, so I'm going to get McKenna to come and make a cake for the boys. Let's do a... Let's do a chocolate cake. All right, so she's just taking care of the babies. He's still screaming, but... He just got fed, so he's fine. Right, Archero, one more time, buddy. You can do it. You're so close. 10 more percent. And he has done it. So he has threes in everything. Good job. Right, why don't you come here? You come here. Open up the fridge. We'll get you out some food. Right, you come eat that. And you eat that. Right, mum's done with the cake. Pop that here and pop some candles on it for me. And then please come tend to these children because they are screaming. Let's help Alan blow out his candle since he was born first. Right, bye, Keaton. I don't know why you were here. We're already pregnant with you. Come blow out your candles. Happy birthday. All right, so... Oh my gosh, so we've randomized his traits. So Alan is a vegetarian, he is erratic, and he is evil. Now we'll randomize his aspiration. Pick a number one through four. It didn't speak, but it says the answer is one. So he is creative. Help Archero blow out his candles. Right. Happy birthday, Archero. Hopefully you get better traits than your brother. All right, you ready? So he is outgoing, a glutton, and self-assured. Let's do our random number. Pick a number, one through four. That would be four. That would be four. We do have two options here, so pick a number, one through two. The answer is one. The answer is one. So he wants to be a super sibling. All right. That is Mr. Archero, all aged up. Put candles back on and put that in the all right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to head into Cass and give these boys their makeover and then I'm also going to do a house renovation as well because we do not have any room for the kids to sleep. So I will be back. Okay, and this is our evil erratic vegetarian king, Alan. So I think he looks so, so adorable. I will show you his outfits. This is his everyday, his sleepwear, his swimwear, his hot weather, and his cold weather. Now on to 
Archero. Okay, and this is our little Archero. So I gave him a different look to his brother. They definitely look different um, seeing them now as children, but they do also look very similar. So this is Archero's every day, his sleepwear, his swim, his hot weather, and his cold weather. I really hope you like them. So let's hop back into game and I will do some house renos. So I have made some renovations to the house. As you can see, I have added on a second sto story. So I've changed up the kitchen and just put a, the table in here with some extra chairs. I put the TV there so I could sit and watch TV from the table. I made the toddler room slightly bigger. I changed the bathroom to just have a bath. I've moved around McKenna in the baby's room to fit the desk in here. And then upstairs, we've just got an empty landing because I've kind of run out of money. A second bathroom for the kids and some beds for the kids. So it's nothing extravagant at all. It's just a way to fit everyone into the house. So I'm going to get McKenna to change this nappy because we've got a screaming bubba and with this i am going to end the episode so i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and leave a subscribe if you would like to see more content i had so much fun playing this one mckenna is currently pregnant we now have our two kiddos alan and arturo and we have our bubbas who are ready to be aged up which is benjamin and bridey so i will catch you guys up in the next one where we can continue on with our 100 baby journey thanks for watching bye